Let's talk about music, guys. All right. So uh, recently I've worked with a few artists that have had a lot of spins on Spotify, had a lot of plays on the radio. They were doing pretty decent, but they were complaining to me and they were saying, Neff, you know, I haven't gotten any royalties or anything from my music. And I was like, wow. So upon further investigation, I found out that this artist made a bunch of casual uh, common mistakes that everyone seems to make. And I want to discuss what those were. So here are the top three biggest mistakes I've noticed artists make um, since I've been doing this. And before we go into that, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell. OK, now getting started. Number one, number one biggest thing that artists do wrong is they they don't register for ASCAP, BMI, um a csac they don't they don't go register for the pros so what these pros do is they collect your uh, tv and radio royalties from the spins that you gain and garner from tv shows and uh, different music um festivals and things that you do like when you go to perform um you have these pros that go around and they collect money from you or for for you from these venues if you don't register for these guys, they're not going to be able to represent you and help you collect your money from entities that, you know, you may be featured in, such as movies or television. So you definitely won't be getting any money from your radio spins or any type of um, TV appearance or any 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 major, major things. You, you're going to miss out on getting your money if you didn't register for that. So that's going to be one reason why you didn't get royalties. Um, secondly, a lot of people, um, don't register for sound, sound exchange. Okay. So sound exchange is also more like an online pro. Um, they deal with collecting money for, um, Spotify and stuff like Pandora and just different streaming sites online that may be difficult for ASCAP and BMI to collect money from. So if you go with Sound Exchange, every every one of these streaming services had to go through a situation with them in which they help collect money for the artist. Um, and so if you have that, you'll be able to collect your Pandora money and all this money from like iHeartRadio. If you don't have a Sound Exchange, then you're going to be missing out on that money as well. And third, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing. <laughs> And this is crazy, but everyone does this. Even I've done this a lot of times, and it's not copywriting the work. I mean, that has got to be by far the most biggest thing that everyone does wrong, because when we release this music through a distributor and it shows up in a placement, sometimes they ask for copyrights. And it's possible that when you got a beat or you got a production that you don't have the copyright and someone else has copywritten your works. It's possible that someone can steal your music, man. Someone can literally steal your music because you didn't copyright it. So before you go around, this, let everyone hear your new music. Make sure you copyright it before you let anyone hear it or anything, any lyrics or anything. There's been a lot of people that gotten their single stolen or they the beat was, wasn't was copywritten and someone else bought it and then they copywritten it's just one of those things where it's like playing a video game and then you have to save the game before you cut it off. And you're playing the game for five hours and then your little brother or sister comes in and kicks the court out. It's one of those situations like you've you've wasted, you know, two or three years of your music career creating songs, albums and all this stuff. And then you forgot to copyright it. It's like not hitting the save button and then having to go all the way back to the beginning and start all over again. It's It's just retarded. So guys don't want to do that. Um, anyway, hope you like this video. Hope it's very informative. Don't make these mistakes. Don't do this in your career. It's going to hurt you either now or later. All right. Hope you like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know any other mistakes that you may have uh, made <laughs> so other artists can try to avoid those. Okay. Also, the first 10 people who drop a music link, no matter what it is, is going to get promoted uh, for free. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and also follow us on Twitter. All right. Thanks.